really need to have poorly used Katrit Natsu ASAP. And Gray. And Juvia, too. Hi. Get down now! Where did that come from? It's been such a long time. Hello, Urza. You know this person? I don't. Tell me who you are. It's weird. They look really similar. Who am I? One could say I'm you, Urza. And you are me. her will prove far more difficult. An attack of countless swords, all converging on your target. I'm impressed you were able to control that many at once. It's quite a feat. <laughs> For all your hard work. You earned a flower. She was able to block that attack and do all this too? But how? She's mocking me. Come on, Urza. You had this girl enhance your power and this is the best you can do? Shame. How disappointing. Tell me, who are you really? Still haven't figured that out. Ah, deep in your heart, you know exactly who I am, but you don't want to believe it. I have never seen you before. This woman doesn't just look like Urza. She smells a lot like her, too. <laughs> now, now, Urza. That's a rude thing to say to your mother. in Rosemary Village before it was burned to the ground. I'm an orphan. I have no family. You're wrong about that, because I am your mother, Urza. I've only had one parent in my life. His name was Master Makarov. Fine, if that's what you want. And just because I have a daughter, doesn't mean I care about her. In fact, I thought you were dead all these years. <laughs> I never would have dreamed we'd meet on the battlefield. Fate works in mysterious ways. No matter who you are, you attacked Fairy Tale, and that makes you my enemy. Hmm. Just as anyone who dares oppose the Alvarez Empire is my sworn enemy. Even my very own child. But still, 
dying here without ever learning the secret of your birth. That would be tragic. A secret? It means nothing to me. I've held on to this story for years now. You could at least allow me to share it with you, Urza. Shut your mouth! Huh? My name is Irene. Irene Belserion. And once upon a time, I was Queen of the Dragons. You may technically be my mother, but Fairy Tale is my family. Anyone who stands between me and my home will pay the price. It's interesting. I thought sharing your birth story would spark the smallest bit of love for you. Perhaps reawaken my dormant maternal instinct. But it didn't work. All I feel for you is hostility and disgust. I became a queen because of my unparalleled magic power. You still believe you can defeat me? My family gives me power. You threw that away! Crimson Black! Twin Blades! You actually broke my skin. How dare you? I'm sorry for what you went through in your past. But still, you turned your back on your only child. I can't forgive that! <laughs> Listen up, little dragon slayer. Do you remember the dragon seed I mentioned earlier? The thing that took over my body and made me into a monster? You have one. It's growing inside you as we speak. Yes. I know that. And I also know that my mother stopped it from growing years ago. So you can't use it to scare me. She what? We won't turn into dragons. We're not like you. I suppose neither will Natsu. I see. The dragon that cared for you entered your body and halted the dragon seed's growth. The dragon who granted me my magic, Belserion, died right before my eyes. So I took his name and swore on my own life that I would avenge him. All those centuries of pain, and now... Now I learn it could have been prevented. It was all for nothing! I will have my life restored to me. I'll leave this body and at last be free! I can put you out of your misery! Wendy! Ready! Very clever. Separation and chant, Deus Zero. I'll cancel your Deus Zero with my own Deus Zero! Really? This girl casts high level enchantments? Oh! <laughs> it's over! This is the end! Oh! <laughs> Now I understand, at last. I know why the enchantment on you failed. I thought it was because you were an infant, or that our biological connection got in the way. Or perhaps the whole concept was flawed, and enchanting a person's identity onto another was never truly possible. The key is compatibility. I've just realized that's the only factor that makes a difference. <gasps> And now I've found someone who's compatible. A dragon slayer and an enchanter. One with a youthful body that will never succumb to the dragonification. <gasps> Wendy! <sighs> I've waited so long for this day. Her magic is a bit weaker, but I suppose that's fine. What did you say? 
I will have a whole new life, thanks to this body. Irene Balserion has been reborn. I'll get used to this. It shouldn't take much time. No way. My left thigh is slightly injured, and I seem to be covered in scratches and bruises. But I really can't complain. It works. What a petite little thing. So cute. What happened to Wendy? <laughs> Pay her no mind. She's nothing but a pile of flesh now. <laughs> what have you done with Wendy? Oh, she's gone. Or rather, I suppose you could say, she's here. Stop this nonsense! Get out of her right this instant! <laughs> Are you really that slow-witted, Urza? This isn't a form of possession! I have become this dragon slayer. Your dear mommy has no use for you anymore. Despicable. <laughs> hmm. My magic power hasn't gone down as much as I thought. It seems this little girl is a wellspring of potential. I may be a child now, but playtime is over. And as you can plainly see, I'm far too young to be a mother to you. I can't truly focus on the new life ahead of me until I've completely erased your existence! Sky Dragon Slayer magic, huh? Let me try this out. <laughs> I think I like it! Please, Wendy! You have to push her out! It's no use, Urza. The girl you knew is dead. Because as of today, I'm Wendy. I am Wendy Balserion. You're just a parasite! Hear me! You can't have her! Are you sure, Urza? Can you hurt your friend? I know all too well the pain of losing a loved one. But with our help, you can heal. <laughs> Come with us. Be part of fairy tale. <laughs> Thanks, Urza! protect you for all you've done for me. <laughs> you fool! You're too soft to survive this war. <laughs> I've enchanted your armor. Explode! <laughs> that barely even hurt me. All attributes and resistance is up. Deus Corona. <gasps> Since we can both perform enchantments, I thought I'd try out your body switching trick too. Guess it worked. It took a little while, but here I am. Urza, it's me. It's Wendy. Wendy! Impossible. This is different. Heavy. There's no way. That little girl was somehow able to pull off a full personality enchantment. I feel so strong. It's great. I think I'm gonna use this new power on you. Teach you a lesson. Now! Urza! You should stop! My old body used against me. Separation and chance. You, you can, can try, try, but you, you won't pull me out of here. You're wrong. You said yourself your new body is weaker. This girl. Who is she? Now give it back. Give back the old me. This body does have its advantages, but I've lived my whole life being small. I want my old self back! Damn you! What is she? 
<laughs> Do you still want to have it back that badly, huh? It took so long to be human again. You hear me? I won't let you take it! I'm proud of all my scars. They're proof I fought for what I love. And they remind me that even though I suffered, I still healed. So go ahead and give me more. They only make me stronger! And that body remembers the warmth of every friend who's comforted me, held me in their arms. Wendy! Damn you! to all this. You're just wretched little girls. Trust me, Wendy. This will be over very soon. You believe that? You're in way over your head, Urza. I've been building up my power. For centuries! I protected you. I held you inside my womb. And from the moment you were born, you've been nothing but a complete disappointment. Why must you stand in the way of my happiness? I know you've endured much misery. But still, I won't take pity on you! What the hell do you know about suffering? About true misery? After you abandoned me in Rosemary Village, I was taken by a cult. For years, I was a slave. They tried to take my humanity. I realize it's not 400 years of pain, but it affected me profoundly. It changed me. It's why I'm the woman I am today. Why I keep my heart open. Why I was able to find my true family. With their love and care, I could overcome my pain and begin to heal. Enough of this nonsense. Your whole existence is nothing more than a mistake. I never should have had you. So now I'll have to kill you. It's the only way. been amplified well beyond your imagination. I possess the supreme form of enchantment magic, Master Enchant. <laughs> this power transcends the terrestrial. The land, the sky, the sea, everything of this world. 
It affects the heavenly bodies. No. I can't move. Now, Urza, prepare to be obliterated. I'll turn you into dust! Deus! of this spell, but this is exponentially stronger. There's no way I'll survive it. What's worse, it won't only kill me. Thousands of people could be wiped out. Do you see that? A shooting star? It's coming right at us. Damn it, I can't just lie here. I have to move. Come on! It's over, Urza. This is how you die. <laughs> To move my right arm. It's all or nothing. <sighs> Are you flying straight into the meteor? You're speeding up the inevitable. <sighs> it's pointless. You can't stop it. You're just a human. At some point in time, people started calling me Titania. A name shared by a legendary fairy queen. Honestly, I've never given that much thought to what people chose to call me. But if you're the queen of the dragons, then I'll take the name Titania with pride. A queen who cherishes her people and protects them. I'll do all I can to help those in need. Even if it ends up destroying me! Lend me your strength, Master! Please! My daughter... Is she even human? Okay. 
You've been a thorn in my side. But that's all you are to me. Your pathetic life ends here. I'll see to that myself. It's a girl. I'm so relieved. With her body, I can live a new life. It'll be easy. Just enchant my personality into her, and I'll be free of this curse, this wretched prison of flesh. It's finally happening. After 400 years, I can be me again. I'll have a body without this dragon seed growing inside of it. Now, it's time for you to be my vessel. Stop. Stop smiling. Please. I've endured 400 years of pain and suffering. I can't afford to hesitate. this chance and this child belongs to me I can do whatever I want with her <sighs> stop it please stop smiling I smile because there's still fight in me. Amazing. Too soft. You don't know how to finish a fight. My sword, it's gone. I have your blade. This is pathetic. I'm the most powerful woman in the Empire, but still. I can't go through with it. I can't kill my daughter. Why? Why? Good question. I've tried to bury the truth from myself. I didn't enchant myself into you back then, because I chose not to. You were so innocent, so new, and so beautiful. Before I could change my mind, I chose to abandon you. 
I'm not so naive to think you'd believe me after all I've done. <laughs> but your smile reminded me Deep down, beneath this cold shell, this mask. Inside my heart, I truly loved you.